My name is Carl Ross of the University of Portsmouth in the United Kingdom. Today I'm going to talk about thin wall circular cinders under internal pressure. Today is the 20th of July 2009. It's the 40th anniversary of man's landing on the moon. Now, I'm not going to talk about man landing on the moon, but about a topic which is related to it, and that is stresses in thin wall circular cinders under internal pressure. Now, this theory should not be applied to thin wall circular cinders under external pressure, because under external pressure the vessel can implode at a fraction of the pressure for the same vessel to collapse under internal pressure. Now under internal pressure, a circular cinder suffers from three principal stresses. The maximum principal stress is the hoop or circumferential stress which is given by a formula called PR on T where P is the internal pressure, R is the internal radius, and T is the wall thickness. Now, the, the minimum principal stress is the pressure itself. It's minus P, which acts perpendicular to the internal surface of the circular cylinder. The mini-max principal stress, which is in between the maximum principal stress and the minimum principal stress, is the longitudinal uh, stress, which is given by PR on 2T, where P is the internal pressure, R is the internal radius, and T is the wall thickness of the vessel. This is the experiment for a thin wall circular cylinder under internal pressure. This is the Bourdon tube pressure gauge, which is measured in increments of bar, where 10 bar equals 1 megapascal, or 1 bar equals 14.5 pounds per square inch. These are the two electrical resistance strain gauges which are used to measure the strain. The longitudinal gauge is gauge 1 and the circumferential gauge is gauge 5. This is the strain box. On the screen we've got the zero reading for longitudinal gauge, gauge 1. The zero reading for the zero pressure of gauge 5 which is the circumferential strain gauge. We are now going to subject this vessel to an internal pressure of 10 bar. The strain reading for internal pressure of 10 bar for the longitudinal gauge is 26.5 microstrain. This is the strain reading for the circumferential gauge with an internal pressure of 10 bar. The circular cylinder is now subjected to an inter internal pressure of 20 bar. The strain reading for the longitudinal gauge at 20 bar is shown on the screen there. The strain reading for the circumferential gauge at 20 bar is shown there, which is in micro strain. The thin wall circular cylinder is now subjected to an internal pressure of 30 bar. The strain reading for the longitudinal strain is shown on the, on the scale there, which is in microstrain. The strain reading for the circumferential strain is shown on the scale there, which is in microstrain. The thin wall circular cylinder is made out of aluminum alloy, which has a Young's modulus of 72,000 newtons per millimeter squared or megapascals. The Poisson's ratio is 0.33. The internal diameter is 70 millimeters and the wall thickness is 3 millimeters. If you work in newtons and millimeters, you'll get stresses in newtons per millimeter squared, which is the same as a megapascal. And a megapascal is a meganewton per meter squared.